Uh, our overall mission statement is basically taken out of the Bible, which uh, Jesus says, go into all the world and make disciples. Back in America, you think of missionaries having a cool job, going to see foreign things, but then you get here and see they're actually doing really hard work and really serving the Lord. But in Matthew, Jesus was talking about suffering the little children to come unto Him and having childlike faith and just seeing the joy in these children's eyes and these kids who have nothing and hearing about Jesus for the first time, like that gives a whole new meaning to having a childlike faith for me. It's really hard to put into words seeing their faces, some of them acting so bored and I'm so cool, I'm too cool for this kind of thing, some of them scared to death, young ones, older ones, and I looked out there and after 30 years of teaching I thought to myself, these are the same kids I have at home. The first day, like, they learn so much new stuff, and then the next day you review it with them, and they definitely have taken it in and learned it. English is a global language. You see it almost every country you go to. Where I realized very quickly that these children had a, have a lot less than we're used to, but really many of them are really blessed also and I had the opportunity to be a part of their life. And not just my children's lives, but also the lives of the parents. And it's been really neat to see how God's used me as an international teacher to reach the heart of these children, as well as their families. Kids are kids. They are souls in need of a savior. And as I looked at them, I thought of their homes and their families, and how if we don't go with them to the gospel, who will? And God's taught me this year that missions isn't necessarily one set way. It's not necessarily a field that's before you, but missions is reaching the heart of people wherever you are. Honestly, I think in any country, even in America, because if you look at the school system today, you look at the education that they're getting, especially with English, and it's not very helpful. So I think ESL can help anywhere. I don't think you ever stop growing, especially as an alumni, especially as staff. It's easy to get stagnant and just comfortable being where you are, especially in Pensacola. My purpose and goal on this trip, just like in my daily life, would be to glorify God and to enjoy the things that He's given me, but definitely um, focus on teaching English in a way that children can receive it and also receive the gospel and the message of Jesus Christ through it. My purpose on this trip was mainly to be a blessing to others, but also to help me spiritually and just, again, try to find more of a childlike faith. The country of Ecuador is beautiful, the people are fantastic, but the great door that the Lord had opened here for me to come, I'm so thankful. And I would encourage anybody, come, get to know this wonderful country, these wonderful people, see the great need that is here, because the door's open in Ecuador and we don't know how much longer it will be that way, so come.